Hello, Evelyn. Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you today? Um, very nice, teacher. Okay. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? I was uh, making exercise. <laughs> It's an exercise on the platform. Section one and section two. Yes. Section uh, section two. Excellent. Congratulations then. Do you have any question? Do you have any question about those exercises? No, teacher. Yeah. Are they easy or are they difficult? Are they easy or are they difficult? Mm, so, so. So, so. Okay. Okay, this week we have to finish section number three and we have also to take the midterm exam at the end of this week. Hello, Veronica. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Tired. <laughs> Tired. Okay. Good night. Hello, Karna. Good, Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Uh, it's so tired. Are oh, you too? You are tired. It's Monday. Yeah. Right? Today is Monday. Okay. Yes. Hello, Roxana. Good evening. And how was your weekend, Carla and Veronica? How was your weekend? In my case, and stay in my house with my son and my husband. Ah, okay. You enjoy with your family at home. Excellent. Yes. Because estoy en tareas integradoras con mi hijo. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Pasé well. trabajando todo el fin de semana en tareas integradoras. <laughs> ah, okay. It's hard, right? It's hard to help our son. And Veronica, how was your weekend? My weekend is very good because I went with my daughter in San Salvador for the exam. I, I told you the last week. And after go to the, my favorite restaurant. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, you did something very interesting. Uh, how does she feel about the test? About that? About the test? The test? Ah. Yes. ah your daughter, your daughter. Yeah, my daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I think my test. <laughs> uh, my daughter, is, she says, is, is good. Is, more or less. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. Okay. It was not so difficult as you thought. Yes. She she says it's not not very difficult, but I went. <laughs> ah, okay. That exam is tricky, right? It's tricky. It has many yeah uh, many difficult questions, but uh, be positive, I'm right? Sure. I'm sure she is going I'm to get sorry. a good grade. Yeah. Great. Thank you. And so. So, so long because it started for the 6 30 a.m. and finishes at the 12 30 a.m. So, all oh, more than five hours doing that, yeah. Okay, that is hard, right? Yeah, it's very okay, hard. but she is going to get a good range, you are going to see. Okay, we are going to be positive that she is going to pass that yeah. test. <laughs> Hello, Elisette. Thank Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Ah. Tired too. My day was tired. <laughs> ah, okay. Too busy, right? Your day was too busy. Okay. Yeah. And 
Roxana, how was your how was your weekend, Roxana? Hello, Xiomara. Good evening. Okay, guys. So, do you have any question about the exercise you worked on the weekend? Do you have any question? Is resolvieron algunos ejercicios en el fin de semana? I asked because yes. uh, it's, it's Writing for me, say, say me, I, I don't do the, the lesson, but I do. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So in what part, in what part do you have that problem? No, I don't have problem, but she say me, do you do nothing? And just, I say, yes, I do. The, the section two and I start the section three. Ah, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, excellent. Congratulations, then. congratulations. Uh, excellent job then. Uh, uh, at the end of this week, we have to finish section three and we have also to do the midterm test, right? You have to take it at the end of this week. So I am getting sure that you are working on the platform. That's why I ask you every day, right? I'm so sorry, right? But we have, <laughs> we have to complete that platform, right? The, those exercises, I mean. Hello, Melida Sarai, good evening. Welcome to the class. Carlos, good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Good, good evening. I am fine. I, I am driving so my phone in this moment. Ah, okay, be careful then, be careful. Thank you. Hello, Hello good evening. Good evening, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, I'm happy you are fine. Okay, today is Monday, right? But we are going to do our best effort in this class, right? So thank you very much for being punctual. So we're going to start. Uh, then no question, no problem with the platform. Everything is okay. Any doubt, any comment? No, not really. No, Solo una, una cuestión. Es problema si no vamos haciendo como los, como poniendo en los comentarios. Es problema. No. no. No, oh, okay. eso es más para practicar, ¿no? para okay. practicar. Si usted quiere practicar más, you can do it. But okay. that is no a problem. Okay. Ese no es ningún problema. Ok, so let me show you this. Ok, this is the section we're going to start today. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing Parts of the body, parts of the body. Do you know the parts of the body? Yes. Yes? Yes. 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 Okay, which one do you know, for example? Eyes, nose. Okay, ears. eyes, nose, ears. <laughs> hands, yes. hands, uh -huh. foot, nails. Okay, not too much problem with that then, but uh, we're going to have a review of body parts. And we're going to work on this objective too. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use have plus noun and field plus adjective to express health problems. Additionally, what it says, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in real life setting. Yes, let me quit this thing. Okay. Okay, and then no question, right? No question about the platform. So you have to complete this exercise 2.4 and exercise 2.9 and exercise 2.12. And then you are going to start section three. If you have done it, congratulations. You, have, you are doing an excellent job. Then. So let me show you today's presentation and we're going to learn with the class. 
this is a topic for today. What's the matter? What's the matter? That is the topic for today. This question means, ¿Cuál es el problema? Hay otra manera. Hay dos maneras de decirlo. What's the matter and what's wrong? Let me know if you can see my screen, please. Yes, I can see. Okay, thank you. So welcome to your fifth class. And the topic for today is what's the matter? So let's start. We are going to remember this, right? The body parts. So look at this boy. Who wants to read this first chart? Want to read this, the first chart? Head. Eyes. Eyes. Here. Nose. Thank you very much. Okay, so this part, head, eye, ear, and nose. Uh, cabeza, ojo, oreja, and nose. In el caso de que nos refiramos a ambos ojos, we're going to say eyes. Si nos referimos a ambas orejas, we're going to say ears. Eyes and ears, in plural. Right? Si nos referimos a los dos. Solo uno, eye. Solo una oreja, ear. Ok. ¿A quién le dijeron cuando estaba pequeña? Te voy a jalar la oreja si no haces caso. I'm going to pull your ear. Nobody. Me. Ah, ok. Me. Bueno. Era una antigua técnica, ¿verdad? De obediencia. Let's go with the next part. We have back, shoulder, chest, and stomach. Back, shoulder, chest, stomach. Uh, what is back? What is the meaning of back in Spanish? Espalda. Espalda. Ok, back. Lo que nos duele ahorita, ¿verdad? Al final de este lunes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, and also the shoulder, right? When we feel stress, the shoulder, chest, and stomach. Chest, what is the meaning of chest in Spanish? Pecho. Pecho, Pecho. yes. Stomach, that is easy. Stomach. Right? stomach. stomach. Uh, okay, excellent. And what about shoulder? What is the meaning of shoulder? Hombro. 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 Eh, si son ambos hombros, we're going to say shoulders. Shoulders. Okay, then in the next part, we have thumb, ha, hand. Sorry, this is hand and finger. Hand. Manos. Manos, hand. hand. So we are going to fix this right now. So in the second is this part. So hand. Mano, hand. Then we have finger. Si es en plural, we're going to say fingers. Fingers. Finger, un solo dedo. Fingers, todos los dedos. Then we have in this part, leg, knee, and ankle. Leg, knee, and ankle. Ah, by the way, what is the meaning of thumb? What is the meaning of this? Thumb. Pulgar. Pulgar, yes, thank you. Leg, what is the meaning of leg? Pierna. Pierna, knee. Rodilla. And ankle? Tobillo. Excellent, thank you very much. So in this part, we're going to have mouth, tooth, teeth, and chin. What is the difference with these two words, tooth and teeth? Tooth is Okay, thank you. Tooth is the singular and teeth is the plural. And then we have chin, que es barbilla o mentón. Grist, arm, and elbow in this part. Grist, arm, and elbow. What is grist? Muñeca. Yes, arm. Brazo. Brazo. En el bow. Codo. Codo. Okay, thank you. Throat, neck. In this part, we have throat and neck. Oh. 
Throat, garganta. Cuello. Ok, en neck. Cuello. Cuello, ok. ¿Alguna vez escucharon la expresión? Te voy a dar en la neck. Yes. No. Yes, ok. Ok, neck, cuello. Then we have foot and feet, toe and toes. What's the difference in foot and feet? Pie y pie. Foot singular en, en plural, feet. Ok, thank you. Foot is singular and feet is plural. Toe, un dedo del pie, ¿verdad? En toes, los dedos de, de los pies. Ok, no problem with this. No. No. Ok, very easy. Just one more time. Head, eye, ear, nose, back, shoulder, chest, stomach, thumb, hand, finger, leg, knee, and ankle. Mouth, tooth, teeth, and chin. Grease, arm, elbow, throat, neck, foot, feet. Toe and toes. Those are the body parts we're going to study today. So let's this. To talk about our body parts, we are going to use this right to practice. Let's see, for example, this is my head. These are my eyes. This is my chest. These are my shoulders. This is my nose. These are my fingers. This is my mouth. These are my elbows, and this is my neck. Just to practice, right? And we can point our body parts to say this, and this is my head, these are my eyes, this is my chest, right? these are my shoulder, this is my nose, these are my fingers, this is my mouth. Just to practice, right? So, so let's go with this. Today we are going to learn these two, right? Common illnesses vocabulary. Y tenemos, um, este día vamos a aprender también enfermedades que son comunes. Let's see, for example, a cold. Un resfriado. ¿Quién nunca se ha resfriado? Hello. Hello guys, can you listen to me? Yes, I listen. Okay, thank you. So these are common illnesses, right? So we're going to say here, cold, Teacher, resfriado. Sorry, uh, how the meaning of illnesses? Illnesses son enfermedades, bueno, padecimientos. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. So let's continue then. A cold, the flu, gripe, ¿verdad? ¿Quién no se ha enfermado de esta enfermedad? Gripe es muy común. Then a headache. A headache, dolor de cabeza. Ahorita, ¿verdad? probablemente al final del día. A toothache, a toothache, dolor de dientes o Diente. dolor de muelas. ¿verdad? A toothache, a fever, una fiebre. fiebre. A cough, dos. Dos, a rash. Alergia. Yes, thank you. Una alergia. A broken arm. Se quebró el brazo. Ok, el un brazo bra roto. El brazo. Bra eh, a stomach ache. Stomach ache. Dolor de estómago. Dolor de estómago. Yes, thank you. An irritch. An irritch. Dolor de oído. Excellent. Mm -hmm. A backache. Dolor de espalda. Ok, y esta otra enfermedad muy incómoda, a diarrea. 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 Ok, a vomit. A vomit. Vómito. Otra enfermedad Vomit. incómoda. A sore throat. Sore throat. That is like ardor en la garganta, infección en la garganta. Ah, ok. A, a sore shoulder, cuando nos duelen los músculos, ¿verdad? Que anda muy estresado. 
y le duelen los muscles. A sore shoulder. And finally, a broken leg. Okay, now can you tell me which one of these illnesses have you ever experimented? ¿Cuál de estas enfermedades alguna vez ha padecido? The flu, the vomit, the diarrhea. Diarrhea. Estomac. ¿Cómo se dice? Estomac. Stomach age. Stomach, stomach, what? Stomach age. Stomach age. Stomach age. Stomach age. Stomach age. Okay. Stomach age. Which other one? Uh, uh, um, short, short, short shoulder. A sore shoulder. Sore shoulder. Solamente. Uh, okay, thank you, Flor. Poquitas. Mm -hmm. Solo unas cuantas de esas. ¿Alguien más? who has suffered one of these illnesses? In my case, I, I have everything, only a broken arm and broken leg, no. Ah, but the okay. Other <laughs> okay, yes, right. In a point of our life, we have suffered one of these illnesses. Right? Yeah. <laughs> In my case, a headache is common for me. Oh, really? Very common, yes. Oh, you because used to my have... Job. Ah, you used to have a headache. Okay. It's very stressful. Ah, okay. Just be careful with the stress, right? It's dangerous too. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, then with, um, do you have any question about these illnesses? No. No, no question. So we have a cold, the flu, a headache, a toothache, a fever, a cough, a rash, a broken arm, a stomach age, an ear age, a back age, a diarrhea, a vomit, a sore throat, a sore shoulder, and a broken leg. So let's see the next thing here we're going to learn today. So look at this. We're going to watch this conversation. But first of all, we're going to read this. Do you have any question about the vocabulary? Take a minute to read this conversation. Do you have any vocabulary question? Any new words in this conversation? Just tell me. Let me know when you finish reading, please. How the meaning of homesick? Ah, homesick. That is nostalgia. Ah, okay. A headache, a headache, and a backache. Maybe you have flu. Um, what is the meaning of headache and backache? That is what I heard. Headache is dolor de cabeza, and backache is dolor de espalda. And the flu is la grip. Any other new word? Did you finish reading this part? Yes. yes. Yes, okay. Okay, then we're going to listen to this conversation and then we're going to practice. So just a second, I'm going to show you here the video. What is it? It's in this part. Can you listen? Can you listen to the video? No, no teacher. No. no. Yes, give me a second. Oh, you can listen now. I'm sick. Could you listen? No. Not yet. 
Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oi, oh, I'm. Ah, okay. Now, yes, you can listen. Thank you. I'm going to play this since the beginning. Listen into a conversation title. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's... Okay, what's the matter with him? What's the matter with him? ¿Cuál es el problema con él? He's homesick. homesick for oh, Japan. Oh, he's homesick. For your oh. country, uh, maybe for your family. Okay, he feels homesick for his country. So let's listen again. Listen into a conversation title. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look. at. Okay, at the end of the conversation, how does he feel? ¿Cómo se sentía al final de la conversación? Kenichi. He feel better. Oh, he feel better. Okay. Have you ever feel homesick? Have you ever felt homesick? ¿Alguna vez has sentido nostalgia? Yes. 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 When I think with my mother. Ah, okay. Your mother, probably the place where you grew up, right? El lugar donde creció, if you have moved, and your old friends, your old friends, um, I don't know, some co-workers, su último trabajo, when you siente nostalgia. So let's continue with this. We're going to practice this on the presentation. So it says, hey, hey Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Ryan. I feel better already. Two volunteers to practice this small conversation, please. Two volunteers who wants to practice today. So thank you, Carla. Carla and Carla and Lisette, please. Carla and Lisette. So Lisette, you are going to be Brian, and Carla, you are going to be Kenichi. Okay. Hi, Kenichi. Yeah. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe it can, can help. Let's have lunch and love new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Thank you very much. That was an excellent job. Yes, how do you pronounce these words? Yes, give me a second. What are the options? Okay, let's see how do you pronounce this one, for example. 
In this ex this sentence, let's have lunch at that. Okay. Thank you. Let's have a lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Okay, two volunteers. Two volunteers who wants to participate. Yeah, okay, I have two volunteers, Carlos and Veronica. Carlos, you are going to be Brian, and Veronica, you are going to be Kenichi. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I am not so good after this. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu? No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel very already. Okay, thank you very much. Very good job. Thank you, guys. So let's see. Look at this question. How are you? How are you? Como esta? So here are some positive answers and we have some negative answers. Um, generalmente siempre respondemos, I'm fine. I'm fine. Pero estaremos todo el tiempo bien. No todo el tiempo estamos bien, ¿verdad? So we need to learn how to answer negative with negative adjectives. Let's see, for example, this I'm fine. I'm great. I'm terrific. I'm fantastic. So we can use this other objective to answer this question. Estoy bien. Estoy grandioso. Estoy muy bien. Estoy fantástico. I'm fantastic. In case you are going to answer with a negative objective, you have to use this. I'm sick. I'm awful. I'm terrible. I'm miserable. So how are you today? How are you today using this adjective? How are you today? Who wants to answer this question? How are you today? I'm tired. Okay, you are tired. So we can say that it's a negative adjective, right? I'm tired. Who say I'm fantastic? Nobody? I'm fantastic, I'm terrific, I'm great, I'm fine. Nobody say that? What about this one, I'm sick? I'm sick? Is anybody sick today? You say, I'm sick. Well, let's continue then. The other way to answer this question is, how do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel today? Como se siente? Then we answer with the verb fear. I feel great. I feel fantastic. I don't feel well. I feel sick. I feel terrible. I feel miserable. Then we can use this, right? Generalmente, ¿qué dice usted cuando alguien le dice que se siente mal? What do you answer to that people? What do you say to them? Why? Don't worry. Don't worry. You are going to be good soon. Right? You're going to get better soon. Um, okay, then we ask, what's the matter? Right? A ver, queremos averiguar más. What's the matter? What's wrong? Esas son las dos preguntas que podemos utilizar. Son estas dos que están acá. Cuando alguien le dice, um, I'm sick. I feel bad. I don't feel very well. No me siento muy bien. So you say, what's the matter? What's wrong? ¿Cuál es el problema? ¿Qué sucede? What's the matter? What's wrong? Y para responder esa pregunta, lo vamos a hacer utilizando el verbo have. Well, I have a headache in a package. ¿Se acuerdan de la conversación? Bueno, tengo dolor de cabeza y tengo dolor de... 
this one. Okay, well, I have a headache in a bucket. I have a cold. I have the flu. I have a stomach ache. También podemos hacerlo con el verbo feel. So I feel dizzy. I feel homesick. I don't feel good. I feel sick. So what's the difference? Dizzy, that means is mareado? Yes, that is the meaning. That is the correct meaning of dizzy. I felt dizzy. Me siento mareado. En el caso de, vamos a utilizar el verbo have con un nombre. A cold, the flu, and a stomachache. Estos son nombres. Y el verbo feel lo vamos a utilizar con adjectives. I feel dizzy. I feel homesick. I don't feel good. I feel sick. So these are adjectives. And this is a noun. So let's practice this in these two small conversations. Look at the first one. Hi, how are you? I'm awful. What's the matter? I have a stomachache and diarrhea. Hello, how do you feel? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache and I feel dizzy. So who wants to participate in conversation number one? Hands up, uh, thank you, um, Evelyn. Evelyn and Evelyn and Janet, thank you. So Janet, you are A, Evelyn, you are B. Hi, how are you? I, I am awful. What's the matter? I have a stomach and diarrhea. Thank you very much. Two volunteers for the next. So awful, awful. What is the meaning of this adjective, awful? Do you have any idea before to go to the next one? Awful. Terrible. Okay, very bad. I'm very bad. I'm awful. Terrible children. Terrible, ¿verdad? Me siento muy mal. Estoy muy mal. So who wants to help me with the other one? Janetu and Melida. Melida, you are going to be A, and Janet, you are going to be B. Okay. Hello, how do you how do you feel? How do you feel? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I had a terrible headache and I feel decent. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent job. So how do you feel? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache and I feel dizzy. Thank you. Let's see this. Okay. Oh, sorry. Well, look at this. Uh, we're going to read the problem and we're going to discover what is the answer, right? So I forget to, to hide this. Just a second. I'm going to go to the presentation. I'm going to have this part. Just a second. Okay, ¿qué consejo le daría usted a alguien que le duele la cabeza? Let's have a headache. Take an aspirin. Take some aspirin. Okay, take some aspirin. Um, a una persona con dolor de estómago, with the stomach ache. Don't eat candies. Okay, don't eat too much candies. Okay, excellent. Okay, here we go. Can you see my screen? Let me know, please. Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, uh, number one, I have a terrible headache. What would be an advice? ¿Cuál sería un consejo para esa persona? 
Take some aspirin. Okay, take some aspirin. What about my back hurts? Can get a massage. massage. Okay, that is what we need today, tonight, right? Number three, my feet are hurting me. Take off your shoes. Okay, my stomach hurts often. Don't eat so much. I have an earache. Don't put your finger put in your, finger in your, your eye. And oh. number six, I have a toothache. Go, go to, to the, the dentist. dentist. Go to the dentist. Go to the dentist. Okay, go to the dentist. Thank you. So those are the correct answers. Right? And here you have the answer. One C, two F, three E. For A, 5, B, and 6, E. So look at this. What's the matter with her? What is the problem with her? Yes. Let's start on picture number one. This one. What's the matter with her? She uh, has a headache. Okay. Excellent. In this case, we're going to use has, right? Because it's third person. So we're going to say she has. She, she has. has. Can you please repeat the sentence? She has, she has a headache. Oh, she has a headache. Thank you very much. So what's what's the matter with her? Just a second. What's the matter with her? What's the matter with her? She has the flu. She has the flu. She has the flu. Or we can say, ¿Qué otra enfermedad parece? Which other illnesses? It seems that she has. She has sadness. She has cold. Oh, she has a cold. Probably fever too. What's the matter with her? What's the matter with her? She has a tooth head. No, she has a tooth age. She has a terrible tooth age. That is terrible. This one. What's the matter with her? She has stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Probably. Okay. Headache, diarrhea, and stomach ache. Okay. Bueno, de todas parece que ella está más mal. Pobre. <laughs> oh, it could be a colic too, right? Yeah. Yes. And what's the matter with him? In this picture, what's the matter with him? He has a stomach. He has a stomach. He has a stomach. He has a backache. He has a backache. In this one? Throat cage. Throat cage. Throat cage. Throat cage. We say sore throat. Sore throat. Y, eh, en el, ok, en el caso de que nos duelan los músculos del cuello, we're going to say sore, sore neck. We have a sore neck, sore neck. ¿Y si es dolor de garganta? Sore throat. 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 Si es infección, vamos ah, okay. a usar de la garganta, sore throat. Sore throat, ok. Otra manera de decirlo es my neck hurts. My neck hurts. My back hurts. My stomach or my chest hurts. Esa es otra manera de decir el padecimiento que tenemos utilizando el verbo hurt. Doler. Teacher, ¿y yes. si duele el oído? Oh, we can say my ear. My ear hurts. Or we can say I have an earache. Earache. Yes. De las dos maneras puede hacerlo. My ear hurts. Or I have and earache. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, today also we're going to this vocabulary, medicine vocabulary. So we have this eight word couch, syrup, pills, capsule, aspirin, antacid, eight drugs, muscle cream, and cough drops. And we have this line of sentences. Whenever I have cold, I take cold syrup. 
cuando me, siempre que tengo, ¿verdad? Una tos, yo tomo cup syrup. Esto es jarabe, ¿verdad? Jarabe para la tos. Whenever I have sore eyes, cuando me arden los ojos, I put eye drop. Me pongo gotas en los ojos. Whenever I have stomach ache, I take antacid. Cuando me duele el estómago, tomo un antiácido. Antacid. Whenever I have fever, I take acetaminophen pills. So, which of these medicines have you ever taken? ¿Cuál de esta medicina ya ha tomado antes? ¿Todas? Aspirin. 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 Antes. Aspirin. Antes. Antes. Uh, oh, cow syrup. What about this muscle cream? When your legs yeah, hurt, when your shoulder hurts. It's like cofal. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's like Ofal. Uh, what is the other one? Dolocrin. Dolocrin. Marihuanol. Oh, marihuanol, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Etilo. Oh, yes, metilo too. So, mm -hmm. muscle cream. Okay, then you are going to have this conversation practice. Uh, imagine, right? Let's come back to this. Work in groups and practice the question, how are you? How do you feel? And what's the matter or what's wrong? Cualquiera de las dos puede utilizar para preguntarle a su compañero cuál es el problema. What's the matter and what's wrong? So we are going to use this vocabulary. What is it? Just a second. Okay, we are going to use this vocabulary. Common illnesses. Um, escoja uno o dos, ¿verdad? Imagínense que está padeciendo de esos dos, de esas dos enfermedades, para poder practicar con sus compañeros. Su compañero le va a preguntar, hello, how are you? And you are going to say, you are going to use this adjective. Uh, I'm sick, I'm awful, I'm terrible. I'm miserable. Y su compañero le va a preguntar with this one. What's the matter? What's the matter? So you are going to describe your problem. So usted va a describir cuál es el problema. You are going to say, I have a cold. I have the flu. I have a stomach ache. Is it clear? Is it clear what we are going to do in the small groups? Yes? Do you have any question about the activity? Is it clear? Did you answer? Yes. yes? It's clear. Okay. Uh, who wants to repeat the instruction, please? Who wants to repeat the instruction? Janet, do you have any question? I can see your hand up. No. Ah, ok, thank you. Bueno, vamos a ir entonces a los pequeños grupos y usted tiene que preguntarle a sus compañeros cómo se siente. Puede utilizar how are you o how do you feel. Y después su compañero va a decir que se siente mal utilizando los adjetivos que vimos hoy. Terrible, miserable, awful, and sick. Después usted pregunta what's the matter o what's wrong. Y entonces su compañero tiene que describir su problema de salud. I have. You see, I have. Si puede darle una recomendación, ¿verdad? Te aspirin, te antacid, te cough syrup, syrup, sorry, cough syrup, uh, lo hace, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que vamos a practicar en estos momentos. Do you have any question? No. No question? Ok. No. Let's go then. Uh, we are today 12. We're going to do four groups. 
Bueno, ahí les va a aparecer el mensajito para que se muevan en las salas y puedan compartir con sus compañeros. See you in five minutes. Los veo en cinco minutos. Porque se supone que si, eh, si tengo de Heritage, vea, entonces la recomendación es que tome aspirina. Entonces sería, I take the aspirin, o aspirin, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Sí es aspirin. 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 Ok, but we're going, we're going to do this as a conversation. Let's see, for example, hello, Floridalia. Good evening. Uh -huh. How hello. are you? How are you? Okay, hey, hello, um, I'm terrible. What's the matter? I have a headache. Uh, they are aspirin. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, that is the conversation now with Mateo. Hello, Mateo, good evening. Uh, hello, good how, evening. How, how do you feel today? Uh, today I feel, um, I feel, I feel, I feel terrible. Why? What's wrong? I have a flu. Oh, you stay at home and rest and take some medicine too. Okay, thank you. Okay. I, Yes, tell me, tell me. I I I'll I'll do that. Ah, I will do that. Ok, excelente. Bueno, ahora vuelvan a comenzar. Comience usted la conversación con Floridalia. Mateo, please. Okay. Hello, Floridalia. Good evening. Um, Hello, good evening, Mateo. What? How are you? Um, it's a uh, um, terrible. What's the matter? I I have a headache. You you have to take um an aspirin. You have oh. to take an aspirin. Okay, so you just oh. take take oh, an yes. aspirin. Take an aspirin. Okay. Ok, thank you, Mateo. Ok, excelente. Ahora comience usted en la conversación. Flor, bueno, okay. continúen practicando. Hello, gracias. Hello, eh, Mateo. ¿Qué más tenía? Um, Aspirin, como aspirina. They are aspirin. Ajá. Para el dolor. Para el dolor. Ah, para la fiebre, ¿qué sería? 
Acetaminofén. Acetaminofén. Yes. Para, en, para todo, ¿verdad? Acetaminofén para todo. <risa> <risa> Eso va en el seguro. Acetaminofén. Y así okay. acetaminofén se dice. Ok, Yufi. Acetaminofén, acetaminofén. Ah, así como se, así como se escribe, así, acetaminofén. No, en la escritura cambia más, es with PHN at the end. Acetaminofén. Ajá. PHN. Acetaminofén. Ah. Y. PH, Okay, let's start with the conversation. Uh, Melida, hello, good yes. evening, how are you? I'm sick. Why? What's the matter? I, I have a fever and I have a, to rush. I'm sorry, take some medicine and go to the doctor. Okay, thank you. Ahora comience usted la conversación y practique con Lisette. All right. Hi, uh, Lisette. How do you? Hi, Lisette. How are you? How do, how do you feel? Oh, no. Sí, how do you feel? How También lo podemos ocupar, ¿verdad? Yes, you can. Yes. How do you feel? I am terrible, terrible, terrible. Así se dice, teacher. Terrible, la palabra. Yes, I feel terrible. I feel terrible. I feel terrible. What? What? What's the matter? I have a. I have the flu. I have the but the cash, the cash, creo que se dice. Package. Package. Okay. Estoy mal. <laughs> <laughs> um, take uh, aspirin and, ¿cómo se dice? Descansar para... Uh, rest. And stay at home and rest. Quedes en casa y descansa. Rest. Stay at home and rest. Rest. And take uh, aspirin. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, Lizette, now can you practice with Roxana, please? And start the conversation with Roxana. Say, hello, Roxana. How are you? Oh, hello, Roxana. Uh, how hello, you Abigail. How are you? Hello, Roxana. Se fue a cenar en donde aquí. No te enfermo. <laughs> Ella no se enferma. Porque... Ella no está enferma. Ah, ok. Ese es el problema. No. Está saludable. Hello, hello, Roxana. Can you listen to us, Roxana? No, right? Ah, ok. You can practice again. Just change the illness. Con... Practiquen una vez más. Eh, cambien las enfermedades. Thank you. You're doing okay. a great job. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey, how? 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 Mm -hmm. okay. You need to come okay. here. Okay, you need to come here. And go to the same oh, that... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hello, hello. Nos salimos del tema, teacher. La invitamos a Santa Ana ah. después de hablar de las enfermedades. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> yes, okay. Teacher. Okay, go and visit Santa Ana. Oh, it's a very really nice place. <laughs> yes, it's a and, really nice and, place. Uh, she yes. said, said homesick, homesick, and or 
say um, visit us. Ah, ok. I told you were a doctor, right? Creí que era una doctora, por eso le decían, venga aquí al consultorio. <laughs> ah, ok. So let's start one conversation and with Carla. Hello, Carla. Uh, good evening. How are you today? Hello, teacher. How are you today? I feel awful. Um, why? What's the matter? Uh, because I'm very stressful for my job and I have a headache. Uh, okay, you are stressful and you have a headache. Um, take some aspirin and rest. It is almost nine o'clock, so you are going to have time. It's almost time to go to sleep. So rest a lot. Yeah. I need you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, now need. you need to go to sleep. Okay, in, in two yes. minutes. Right? Uh, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so now I start the conversation with Evelyn. I start the conversation with Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Good evening. Hello, good evening, sir. Now, Carla is going to start the conversation. Carla, comienza usted la conversación. Say hello, okay. Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Uh, how do you feel today? I, I feel miserable. No. Why? What's the matter? <laughs> uh, because I am sick. Ah, you are sick. She is sick. Eh, how do you feel? Pero para poderle sacar, o sea, ya me dijo que está enferma, pero para saber de qué está enferma, o sea, ¿cómo le puedo preguntar? What's the matter? Uh, yes, y what's le pregunté, the matter? What's the matter? Me dijo, I feel, I feel sick. Ah, ok, then what's wrong? You can say, oh, can Ah, you ok, tell... what's wrong? El what's wrong, como, ¿qué te pasa, verdad? ¿Qué te pasa? Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh, because I am sick and uh, I am feel dizzy. I feel dizzy. You feel dizzy? Se siente en Mariana? El mundo le da vueltas? Yes. <laughs> Maybe you are, you are praying? <laughs> <laughs> that is a symptom okay in this case in this case you can say what are your no, symptoms no no in the moment I know, no I know Dios me guarde me libre no I know <laughs> okay you can say in that case when someone say I'm sick so you can ask what are your symptoms ¿Cuáles son ah, okay. los síntomas? Okay. What are your symptoms? Ok, los veo okay. en la reunión con todos, eh, con todos okay, los, sus compañeros. Evelyn, comience la conversación ahora y practice with Verónica. Ok. Um, how are you, Verónica? I don't feel very good. Cool. Welcome, welcome, welcome again to the class. Hi. Hey, how was your practice? Did you enjoy it? Yes, it's very good. Practicando. ¿Cómo están mis enfermitos? Teacher, I, I have a question. Yes, um, what is your question? Tell me. ¿Cómo, cómo se diría como, digamos, cuando alguien le dice o como un favor o algo, entonces uno dice como con mucho gusto, en vez de decir de you're welcome, ¿cómo sería? You can say, don't mention it, my pleasure, it's okay. Ah, 
Okay. Instead of saying you're welcome, when alguien say thank you, and you say you're welcome. So you can say don't. Ajá, me. como para dejar de decir you're welcome. ¿no? Muy, ah, you can say don't, <laughs> don't mention it. My pleasure. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Puede utilizar okay. esas tres frases. Okay, thank you. Do, do you have any question? Do you have any question? No question. Well, um, to talk um, to speak right about our sickness or illnesses, nuestros padecimientos, we are going to say I had. Right? I have a headache. I have a stomach ache. Um, let's see. Si usted quiere decir que una parte de su cuerpo le duele, usted va a utilizar el verbo hurt. My back hurt. My elbow hurt. My nose hurt. Oh, you, or you can say backache, ear age, sore throat in that way. Do you have any question about today's class? Not teacher. Not teacher. No questions? No. Okay. Bueno, entonces solo felicitar a aquellos que ya terminaron sección 1, sección 2 y ya van por la sección 3. You are doing an excellent job. Y los demás, sigamos el ejemplo. Y quedémonos hoy toda la noche resolviendo la plataforma. Mm. Nada, that's not true. Estamos enfermos, sí, estamos enfermos. <risa> no, teacher, no, toda la noche tampoco. <risa> <risa> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Es mentira. Pero es, mm, mañana o los días que le quede tiempo libre, ¿verdad? Um, acuérdese de la plataforma ¿no? después del almuerzo. Esta semana tenemos que terminar la tercera, ¿verdad? Yes, we have to finish section three. Tenemos que section. llegar a la sección tres y terminar el examen. ¿verdad? Entonces lo motivo a que lo hagamos, ¿verdad? Para que al final del curso no andemos corriendo. ¿verdad? Ahí sí nos va a tocar toda la noche de velar, ¿no? Porque ya es el final, ¿verdad? Entonces ahora que hay tiempo vamos resolviendo los ejercicios para que al final no tengamos esa maratón, ¿verdad? Y me faltan las cinco secciones ¿verdad? y los dos exámenes. Okay. Y se me fue el internet. Okay. Entonces, <risa> entonces uh, vamos haciéndolo con tiempo, ¿verdad? Para que vayamos aprendiendo, porque al final solo vamos a ir a resolver y el objetivo que era aprender, ¿verdad? No. No lo vamos a lograr. Entonces les motivo a que trabajen los ejercicios y si llegan al examen, lo pueden hacer. ¿verdad? Recuerde que si se equivoca, puede corregir sin ningún problema. Ha sido un gusto haber estado con ustedes. It has been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thank you. Thank you for your participation, your puntuality. Uh, you are doing a great job. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye bye.